Okay, we're going to talk about barcodes right now. I'm going to click the barcode tool, drop it in here, and I'm going to select my data matrix. And I'm just going to type in one, two, three, four, five. Under properties, I can do uh, rectangular or I can do um, a, force it to be a 12 by 12. Um, <clears throat> what I can do here is um, its size and its density. If I go density, this is where I'm going to do, let me just do 5x5, five five. hit OK, apply. And what happens is in each one of these boxes, if I'm going to zoom in, um, you really can't see here, but in, in one of these boxes I've got 5x5, five five, so I'm making a 5x5 five five pass to create that box. If I go and I go to my properties and I make it, let me make it a lot 10 by 10, what you're going to see when I hit OK, watch what happens when I hit Apply. If I hit Apply, you can see how it got darker. That means I've each one of these I'm cutting 10 by 10 now. So that's one area. Um, the other thing I can do is I'm going to go back and instead of doing raster, I'm going to do vector. And in either case, raster or vector is here. Vector, if I go to vector, I've got my 20 inches a second. I can make that 10 inches a second. My power is at 100, that type of thing. Apply. So here's where you have your speed and your power. And under barcode, here is where you've got your properties and your pixels per cell, which is, hey, how many times am I going to burn inside there? If I do 7 by 7, hit apply, it becomes a little lighter, that type of thing. So those are the main settings um, that you can do for um, your uh, data matrix.